What's going on, y'all? Uh, my name is Bryant. Uh, some would call me Thor. I run by two separate artist names. Um, and uh, I've been trying to get into video game production for a good bit. I've been a professional composer and producer for about 10 years. Um, but on top of that, I, one of my main passions has always been video game music. Uh, there's nothing better than playing a great game and the music is paired well with it. And just the feeling you get when everything lines up well. It makes a real cool piece of art. Um, it's something that I really wanted to get my hands on and hopefully help you, the game programmers, uh, have access to some tools that really make you special. Um, so uh, Future Wave is my second music pack. Uh, my first one is uh, up on stores as well, and it's a little bit more of the grimy, dirty stuff, but Future Wave is a little more polished. Um, I would call it Cinematic Synth Wave. And what I mean by that is... Um, it's not, I have some pretty straight up synth wave in this, but I've also included other elements that just make it feel a little bit more epic and a little bit more dynamic. Um, as if you were hearing like a soundtrack scoring to a movie, I've tried to use synth wave sounds to accomplish that in a couple of the tracks. Um, but at the same time, I've tried to modernize it a bit, so it just feels a little more unique than if you're downloading a basic synth wave pack. So I want you to feel like you've got something special that really adds advantage to your game and makes you feel apart from the rest. So um, let's go through a little bit of it. Uh, this is a walkthrough, so I don't want to waste all your time with it. Um, first things first, all these songs are 44.1, 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz. Um, basically just to say, these should work on any game uh, system you are making your game on. Um, and I've even gone ahead and done some structuring and set up cues with loops and cues without loops for this entire pack on the Unreal Engine and the Unity Engine. Um, so if you're using either of those, you should be good to go. Uh, if you're not, uh, you can download the zip and all of these are still going to work just as they are in the systems here. Um, the other thing I, that's important to point out, I just, since I'm, I'm pretty new to what developers need, so I will be readily available for any of you to reach out to me and just let me know if you would prefer different uh, ways to bounce them, any different ways that I can loop stuff, any more access and tools I can give you to make your game as great as possible. And also in the future when I'm making packs or adding to this pack, um, I, I would just love to have some insight on the best ways to make your life easier. So with that said, let's go through it a little bit. Um, I have divided these up into three sections. So Synthwave is... Uh, all the synthwave stuff, and there's some modern tracks as well, with a little bit more electric guitar leads and electric guitars. Um, so uh, basically, I've I've included uh, full masters here in the full tracks. All three of these are the same way. And if it says full tracks, I didn't remove anything. All the effects are as is. It'll play straight through. And if it says synths only, I'll show you here an example. But it it has everything from the track that is just in that parameter. And so my hope is if you don't like the whole song, you just want to use a little bit of the tidbit of it to, you know, play a motif before something comes in. Like these are your options to get a little more uh, mileage out of these songs than just to like plug and play. So let's, let's go to um, spectral here. Let me show you a better one without synths. Um, so the first one, let's, let's just pick this one here. So I'll play a little bit of the, uh, the bigger section. So pretty pretty epic synth wave track. There's some modern sounds in it. Now what I've done is I really like just the synths on this. So I, I cut them up. Very dreamy, kind of ethereal, maybe some space. Just kind of vibing in an area. Like I, I just felt like maybe this would be a, a good option. Without the heaviness of the drums and the bass to bother it. Um, so that's one of the more like straighter synthwave tracks. Uh, I think this Aram track is the same vibe. Very similar to the other one. The uh, cinematic synthwave is really heavily laid on in Seo Maker, and I included several versions here just because it 
such a big track that if you want to layer it appropriately in your game, I wanted to make sure it was available to you. Um, just play a little bit of it here. Nice and big, very cinematic. So you get the vibe. And then there's a couple versions of it that, you know, synths only, pads only. I just wanted to give you options. So if you don't want the giant master track, you've got the balances for it, and they're going to be clean. And uh, you can lead your way in and out of a section as best as you want. Um, the rest of these are a little more on the, I would say, progressive synth wave, if that's a thing. Uh, not necessarily uh, sounds that are directly synth wave, but it is synth wave sounding with the cinematic approach. And even in a couple of these, I added guitar as the lead. So spectral and Icarus are that way. And then Ridgemont is definitely that way. So I'll play you a little bit of spectral here. Again, if you didn't want the lead in there, I've included it. I mean, the whole track is no, no guitar. So take your pick. Uh, I mean, they're just fun, fun to make, huh? So, uh, and then Ridgemont and Icarus are the same. Very similar vibes. Makala is a little bit more of a darker cyberpunky synth wave. And again, I've included it without the synth lead in case you just wanted it at certain point. kind of that nice driving feel <clears throat> so these are all the master tracks they don't have any of the effects taken out um i just want to give you the full track with some of the uh stems bounced out particularly that would be more musical and maybe just better for a certain scenario than just popping the full track in so then i've gone in and made loops and what i really mean by that on if it says um let's find one here full track loop edit that means I took all the effects out so that you could cut better loops between the full track. So every element is in there, but you can literally chop up a four bar phrase and try to loop it. And some of them aren't 100% all the way there, but in terms of getting you the best opportunity to just cut up a track if you want it, it's there and it's good to use. Um, so let's see. We'll get to the... Uh, big break here and you can hear some of the effects are gone. Basically, I've just tried to be mindful to get you a really clean break between each of the eight bar phrases so that you have something you can cut and loop if you love a part of that phrase. Uh, and then I've gone in and picked some of my favorites from these. Um, so like the Icarus verse loop. This is... You know, if you want some prelude to some stuff, I mean, uh, yeah, you, you got it there. Um, so then, um, let me just shut off my Wi-Fi so we don't have more text coming through. Uh, sorry about that. All right, so um, Spectral. Again, just some loops that would really get you moving if you want to set it up right. And... Um, Maybe if you want to even prelude the master track, there's a couple times where I've just included the lead. You know, you want some ambience, like there's a couple options for you there. Uh, so again, all the loops, try to be as cut and dry and helpful to you as possible. That's the synthwave section. Let's move on to ambience. Ambience is a little smaller. And again, I'm receptive to what you guys need. So if you like the ambience stuff, um, I've, I've got more of it, but I just wanted to see what people need and if this is something that is going to work for everybody. But also I wanted it to be in the vibe. So Alptrom is um, very dark, dreary, dream state kind of thing.
you know, just kind of getting lost in a, in a dream terror kind of, kind of state, or if you just want some real mysterious, uh, it's more in the synth wave vibe. That's why I included it. And then Tundra is the same. It's that cinematic synth wave kind of vibe. Um, it's got some drums in it, so I wouldn't call it straight ambient, but it's, it's nice and vibey. And then when the drums come in, it's a little heavier. So again, I, I just included the synths and pads only on both of these, just because if you want more ambience and less of the like full track cinema vibe going on, you've got it. And then again on the loops, I've tried to make them as clean of a loop as, as possible. And again, if it says full track loop, then that is the full track without some of the effects that sweep between sections. So you can make clean cuts to the loops as you want. Um, and then a couple of these are just just there to make some background noise and make you try to inspire you into something great. Real low, real easy. Um, yeah, and... Just pick some of my favorites there. So, uh, let's move on to electronic and uh, don't want to take too long. So, uh, electronic, I... I would have called it cinematic, but these kind of fall under their own thing of like, if you if you go check out any of my work elsewhere, you'll see I, I really love the cinematic approach, but not with uh, the usual sounds that a cinematic would offer. So um, let's let's maybe start with uh, Expanse. This this would be a good example of electronic c cinematic. kind of get the vibe it's it's not quite in cinema and it's not quite uh you know straight electronic and it also kind of has some synth wave vibe so that's why i included all these together and called it future wave right i want I want to be able to provide you something that sounds a little bit different here kokovo is kind of more of a house track Again, they all kind of fall in the same vibe. This this one's a little more of a grinder and just dark and menacing. If you're really trying to set a, a soundscape for your game, I feel like a lot of these will fit really well. Equinox is probably the craziest one in this group. Um, it's very modally based, meaning it's it's like the same motif, just in different keys over and over and over. So you get the vibe there. Um, and then Estes and Quiet Please are a little more just chill. Keys and pads are great for an ambient track. And then Quiet Please is uh, a little more on like a triplet bass. It's sort of house, sort of house. get the vibe I would call it maybe even future wave uh, so uh, then again I I went through I made a few full tracks with the cuts that maybe would just help you inspire for a section and then I've also gone through and if it says full track loop edit that is the master without all the effects in it and hopefully something that you can go in and loop by yourself if you want or if you're you know an unreal and you like the way I've looped it for you it's good to go um, and then a couple of these are just polls I made that I personally thought would be really cool for 
use elsewhere. So let's see. Expand. And then Equinox is kind of a wild track on its own, so I, I just try to pull some of, the, some of the most musical options. So you get the idea there. So overall, three, three different sections. I'd call it Future Wave. Hopefully you've seen why I'd call it that because it's not necessarily synth wave and it's not necessarily cinematic, but I, I want to maybe create something new that really helps game designers feel like they've got a special product and it's really going to inspire some cool sequences. Um, and I, I would just say I'm receptive to anything you got for me. I would love to hear how I can improve stuff or if you got anything or... If you do end up using one of these in your games, uh, I would love to see it. Um, so, hope this all helps, and uh, good luck using Future Wave.